the clavicle. So upon springing, limitation is noted here on the left-hand side of the collarbone. And so the arm will be abducted to 90 degrees. And then at this point, we're going to sample range of motion. So we'll bring the arm down into internal rotation, which is excellent, without this humerus rising up. And then we'll compare external rotation, at which point we hit a limitation a little more premature. There's a harder end feel, and usually there's better range of motion in external rotation than internal. So using the tenets of Stills technique, we'll go into the preference. I'm going to apply a traction force, bringing the arm out to gap the acromioclavicular joint, which is where internal and external rotation occur. And I'm going to note that by the point at which the midline kind of moves out towards me. So I'll come just in front of the bicipital tendon insertion. I'll traction that out. And then once I've gotten traction, I'm going to move it through the barrier and back.